sure we are live. Hello. Hello, hello. Morning. All right. Thanks for live. Internet sometimes. Um, let me just double check this. And we will dive in to today's chat on why healing the thyroid is such a long process. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most frustrating and important thing for you guys to understand. And I am really hoping and praying that I do an adequate job at explaining to you guys how important this is for you to one, to understand, and number two, for you guys to get on board. So if you are joining me live, hashtag live, tell me where you're from. If you are watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, this allows Facebook to do its algorithm things and just let everybody know that this is an important topic. Um, so let's dive into that. My kids are playing music. I'm sure you hear the bounce house. <laughs> So we'll just kind of do what we can. Good thing I have my AirPods, my earbuds in um, to hear myself think a little bit better. Um, uh, before we dive into like the reasons why this takes a long time, is I want to give you guys just kind of paint a picture for you. And this took me a long time to understand and grasp is our body is an ecosystem. We have been trained by medical communities to think that we have skin issues, we go to a dermatologist. We have GI issues, we go to a GI doctor. We have thyroid, we go to an endocrinologist. We have general aches and pains and whatever, we go to our PCP, our primary care physician. Um, we, we have all of these doctors. We've got headaches and migraines. Guess what, we're going to a neurologist, right? Like there are, hundreds of doctors, millions of doctors that we can see, and they're all for different reasons. And that was a model that I grew up with, right? I grew up, you got an alignment issue, you go to a chiropractor. You have, um, I was in a car accident when I was 12, I was ejected from the car. I saw a chiropractor and a physical therapist, right? later in life I started seeing all of these other doctors and that's not how the body works that's what we've been conditioned to think but that's not how the body works our body is an intricate web of communication systems and we are an ecosystem if our GI system goes out of balance our thyroid is going to go out of balance right or our liver is going to go out of balance or our kidneys or whatever right or if we have, uh, I, sorry, I just have this like, look like, <laughs> so for example, I'll give you an example. If we start to lose the ability to break down um, fats and carbs, then we start losing the ability to, I'm sorry, proteins and fats, that's one that I wanted to pair together. When we lose the ability to break down the proteins, oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, protein and fat. Whew. Then we see weight gain. Okay, so if you guys are struggling with weight gain, then we know you have an issue with breaking down proteins <laughs> and fats, which is going to be implicated in your detoxification system from your liver and also your stomach, which is your GI. There's no way to isolate these two different things. And yet that's what we're being taught and trained by our doctors and physicians is to look at this is one thing and this is one thing when they're the same, right? I mean, they're different, but like they communicate with each other and they make a difference. So I believe that we have to look at the whole being. We have to look at the whole person. We have to look at the whole situation. We have to look at antecedents, so things that happened before you started having these symptoms. Um, recently, I had a client. We were actually not even a client. <laughs> um, another practitioner friend who got food poisoning. And we were both like, oh, dang it. Because as a practitioner, you guys think you have food poisoning. 
you're miserable for a couple days, you're in the bathroom, you know, on the toilet, whatever, and then it goes away. As a practitioner, we know that if you are not rebuilding and killing off the bacteria that was presented to your digestive system, eventually down the road, if it's not properly addressed, you will be dealing with something like SIBO or H. pylori or something like that. You're going to end up with a chronic infection because food poisoning is a result of bad bacteria being entered into the digestive system, the digestive tract. And if it's not killed off and rebuilt properly, you're going to have issues 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And you're like, I don't know why this started. Okay? So, <laughs> even these little simple tiny things that happen, they lead to a bigger, a bigger picture of why the body is out of balance. Okay? Um, what else did I wanted to say? So one of the things that I wanted to say before we, again, dive into all of the different reasons why it takes a long time to heal the body is for every one year that you have experienced a symptom, a diagnosis, you will expect, you should expect at least one month of active healing with that. So if you have had thyroid for 15 months years, right, you've had Hashimoto's for 15 years, it's going to take you a minimum of 15 months to resolve the symptoms. So it's not enough to think that you guys can come in and fix anything in three months or four months. Healing is a journey, you guys. I tell people all the time, I am constantly working on my body. I'm constantly making changes and adjustments and you know, working things out because I love my body and I know from time to time I'm going to be introduced to toxins. I'm going to be introduced to um, genetic things. I'm going to fall off track. I'm going to eat cookies and cake and ice cream and brownies and pie, you know, <laughs> around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Normally I don't go off the deep end, but those are things that I'm going to enjoy at that time because I love it, because I enjoy it, because it's something that makes me feel good, right? It, it makes me feel like I am a part of my environment, of, of the things that are happening. But I also know that if I go off the deep end, I'm going to feel bloated, I'm going to feel constipated, I'm going to feel gross and disgusting because my mechanisms in my body to produce stomach acid are still, I'm still working on that, okay? So we need a key nutrient for a proper stomach acid. That is zinc. Guess what is also depleted if we have thyroid? If we have hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, um, hypergraves, we most likely have very low levels of zinc, which means we produce low stomach acid, which also means that we can't break down and metabolize our food properly because of the mineral imbalances in our body. Dang the thyroid. So in order to give our body the tools that are needed and necessary, we must balance out the minerals in our body. And guess what? Minerals don't show up in blood work. They don't. You can test your zinc, you can test your calcium, you can test your magnesium, your blood work, and that that's okay, but we need to see what is in the tissues of the body. We need to see what is in the soft tissues of the body. Are certain things being built up? Are they not being absorbed into the body? Are they not being utilized? Are they not being functioning? And if we are depleted and not breaking down those nutrients, if we're consuming them on a regular basis, or maybe we're just not eating enough of said item in in our diet then supplementation is appropriate right but it's not some of you guys are not going to like this it's not okay to just go and start supplementing willy-nilly because if i can't break down zinc because we were talking about that earlier if my body can't break down zinc i'm going to just be putting in zinc and it's going to be throwing off other minerals in my body because minerals are synergistic 
they work together, they work as a team, they work in combination with each other, okay? This is why healing and restoring the body is such a journey because I may have to go after, we'll just use copper and zinc as an example, I may have to go after improving zinc and bringing down my copper. Well, copper and zinc, if they're not in the right ratio and the right balance, they're going to throw each other off. I'm going to have things like estrogen dominance. I'm going to have weight gain. I'm going to have irritability because my copper is too high, right? I'm going to have, oh, what else? Um, weight gain, irritability. Um, maybe you're experiencing um, sore breath, um, painful periods, um, different things like that, right? And copper toxicity comes into play with certain medications, comes into play with um, copper IUDs, drinking water, copper pipes, you know, those types of things, okay? If I continually, and, and I did for a long time, I had a copper IUD, if I continually have that input of copper, it's going to be very, like, I can supplement with all the zinc to try to help drive that down, but I'm still having that copper, and it's still leaching into my body, it's still, it's still present. So I'm going to have to supplement more and more, and that's going to, my body is just going to be in this chaos, okay? It's going to be in chaos. So part of the journey, part of the healing process, part of like the discovery process of getting our body back into balance is figuring out where maybe the copper is coming from, where the aluminum is coming from, where um, the barium is coming from, where these toxins are coming from so that we can gain greater and greater clues to take them out, right? So it's very important for us to slow down and not have these crazy expectations in terms of restoring the body's function. We need to slow down, we need to take the time, we need to invest in ourselves because that will lead us to the healing journey. It'll lead us to where we need to go. It'll give us these opportunities to accelerate our healing, not for just a short term, not just for a week, a month, two weeks, three months, but for a lifetime, for a lifetime, you guys. So anyways, I want you guys to really stop and think about this. Um, it's going to be a journey. And anything worth having takes time. Anything worth having takes time. Having babies, man, they're worth it, but <laughs> being pregnant for nine months, it's a long time, right? We're growing a human. We're tired. We're grumpy. We're constipated. We're, uh, right? I'm going through it right now so I can talk about it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a journey. And then even after they're born, guess what? It takes our body another six weeks to kind of recover, right? We got to repair a pelvic floor. We got to go back to shrinking our uterus. We have all of these things that are still out of balance even afterwards and then even after that six months of you know resting and healing and bleeding and all of those wonderful things that come with childbirth and the cramping then we have a rebuilding process of our body right a rebuilding of our stomach muscles a rebuilding of our, our muscles our range of motion our you know our alignment because we gave birth <laughs> especially if you gave birth on your back right your hips your your spinal cord is all going to be out of balance. And it's so worth it, but it's going to take time to realign your spine. It's going to take time to get your hips to go back into place. It's going to take time for the uterus to go back into place. And it's the same thing with the thyroid. Yes, we can see inflammation go down. Yes, we can see an increase in energy. Yes, we can notice that the constipation goes away. Yes, we can feel energized and our mood can stabilize. But for long-term effects, we need to be looking at the long haul. So again, investing in yourself, investing in your time, investing in your energy is well worth it. And I think anybody in the Hanson Method can agree and attest to that. And they're in it for the long haul, right? They get it. They've seen it. They've experienced it. And they are ready to continue moving forward 
restoring their body. So over the next couple weeks, you guys, I'm going to be talking to you more about the Hansen Method. Um, we have some fun and exciting changes that are going to be happening in August. For everybody coming in, we are hiring a new success coach to work with our clients. Um, hi, Candice. So that myself, Chris, can provide you guys with a higher level of support. So we're going to be having a new coach come in, um, starting to do some training and having her do a few things for us. But then we're also going to be increasing our pricing. We're going to be increasing some extra bonuses, incentives, some mini courses for you guys. Um, after you guys complete the Hanson Method, we will have additional courses on you know, gut healing, on hormone healing, on all of those different things. And they will be exclusive for people who have completed the Hanson Method. Um, and the reason for this is because the Hanson Method is laying the foundation. It's giving you the mindset. It's giving this the tools, the skills, the strategies that you need in order to lay that strong foundation because all hormones, all body functions, they build on each other, right? There are hundreds of pathways and through the Hansen Method, we're opening the pathways, we're opening the doors, we're feeding and fueling all of these different areas while giving you the knowledge and the education that you need and the accountability that you guys need to really see these changes. Um, so I'm so excited. Prices are going to be increasing. So if you guys are ready to invest in yourself, if you're ready to get the help, um, you will have access to all of the new changes in, <laughs> in August as well. Um, but not for the increased price. So if you guys are interested, please reach out to myself or one of our team members. Um, Tara is in here and we can schedule you guys a free thyroid breakthrough call. Um, with myself or Joanna, we're both doing calls right now um, for the summer so that you guys can get in really quickly and get the best pricing, right? We're going to do all the functional testing. We're going to teach you everything. We're going to hold you accountable. We're going to help you with your journals. We're going to help you with everything that you guys need in order to be super successful. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Just comment below, let me know, or send me a private message if you want to set up a breakthrough call. Just write breakthrough call, um, and we will get you taken care of. Um, like I said, this is a great month to invest in yourself financially, um, physically, emotionally, because it's cheaper. <laughs> I love saving money. So, anyways, all right, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next.